from Lexington, Kentucky, T-Bot. Here we go, gentlemen. Huge title match coming up. And a huge opportunity for the champ to prove to everyone that there truly is none better in all of WWE right now. Challenger has a legitimate chance here tonight? Of course I do, Michael. That's the beauty of the WWE. Any superstar can beat any other superstar on any given night. Here comes Mickey James. From Richmond, Virginia, Mickey James! Seeing Mickey James make her way to the ring, it's amazing that over the course of her career, she's never lost that love of competition or her infectious, peppy attitude for even a second. Mickey's still chasing titles and enjoying the adoration of the WWE Universe. Like all the in ring greats, she has that never say die spirit that just can't be held down. champ comes into his title defense incredibly confident, Corey. And with good reason, Cole. When you're the champ, you don't have to worry about winning. You just have to make sure you don't lose. That is the champion's advantage. Matchups like these are why I love tag team wrestling. You have to believe the Iconics have a major advantage here tonight at Super Showdown, competing in front of their home country fans in an Australian Rules Tag Team Championship match. And don't forget, Red and Mickey have the added pressure of Mickey's career being on the line. She breaks free. I don't know how she... For the win to retain the champion! I have to question that decision, Michael. Devastating Man. kick. Billy Kay's on the attack now. What a great job by Peyton Royce to take advantage. I love this. One of my favorite moves of all time. The modified surfboard's locked in. Throw. Tough spot to be in. Peyton Royce was able to get out of the way there. Oh, there's the Irish curse backbreaker. Gets out of dodge there. A breakneck speed, one of her Karan. Belly to belly. Vicious. The champ trying to roll with these hits. Oh, back elbow. Dominating crossbody. 
A oh, striking blow. Just ruthless. Solid contact from Mickey James. Big move coming. A cutter. And she's back in the ring now. Red goes for the Irish whip, but gets sent into the corner instead. And now here come the Iconics, pouring it on in front of their home crowd. This does not look good for Red and Mickey, and by extension, Mickey's career. What are the Iconics doing? Oh, I think it's time for a game of cricket. Red and Mickey have other plans. This is a bit of revenge for what took place before their match on SmackDown Live. And since Australian rules is no disqualification, it's perfectly legal. Look, Mickey James is on the attack now. Mickey James setting a frenetic pace. She's executing on her plan perfectly. Cover for the champion. Look at this. That's a little surprising. <laughs> For the championship! Calling an audible now. Why? She had it right where he wanted her. Oh, the sledgehammer connects. That'll scramble your insides. Gets her again. Man, she really knows how to handle herself, huh? Oh, flying forearm. That'll turn your lights out. Rolling neck snap. Face crusher. Ooh, what impact. Oof. Oh, nasty impact. Oh, what impact. Billy Kay showing such creativity. Wow, what a sequence. The champ getting worked over here. This is all but over. Thanks for coming. End of days. Incredible. Boom. Look, Mickey James is on the attack now. Harsh impact. And now she gets her for a second time. Third time's a charm, Cole. Remember that as this match goes on. Red helped Mickey James ward off retirement. They're now the new women's tag team champions. To win this match under the pressure they faced and do it in enemy territory under the Iconics rules is truly impressive. Honestly, I think a lot of credit goes to Red and her list. Someone said it before the match. That list is a powerful motivational tool for Red. Yeah, that someone was me, Corey. Nah, it couldn't have been you. Probably was Cole. And that's how Mickey James went from being a hero and mentor of mine to more than that. She was now my tag team partner and more importantly, my friend. Oh, that's nice. But aren't you skipping over a pretty important part? How about we move on? Don't you want to talk about when you were on the cover of WWE 2K25? I do. But hang on a second. Earlier you put me on blast for having some trivial goals. So now it's my turn to call you out for a time when you let the list steer you down a questionable path. This is a night to remember our careers, good and bad. Fine. If you want to talk about it so much, then you tell the story. Okay. After they became tag team champions, it turned everything around for Mickey. She even ended up earning a SmackDown Live Women's Championship opportunity against Kyrie Sane. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Multi-time champion Mickey James.
I think it's safe to say that Mickey James is one of the most distinguished superstars we've ever seen in women's competition. I'd go beyond that to say in any competition. The pile of accolades she's collected stacked on top of her veteran experience makes her one of the most respected competitors in the ring today, period. And I second that, Cole. It's amazing to think back on everything that Mickey's accomplished. And here she is, still dealing out pain and keeping pace with the best of this generation. carrying the title in a treasure chest. You think Buddy Rogers or Bruno San Martino would ever do something like that? Well, they didn't have a treasure chest, did they, Corey? Let's not forget about how great she's looked of late. That has to account for something here tonight. Well, of course it does, Michael. But the opposition has looked amazing as well. Let's not forget about that either. Introducing the challenger from Richmond, Virginia, Mickey James! And introducing the champion from Yamaguchi, Japan, the SmackDown Women's Champion, This is for the Women's Championship, sold out here. Everyone standing in anticipation to see who truly is the best superstar in the women's division. Ever since Mickey James teamed with Red and won the tag team title, she's been riding an unexpected wave of success to avoid retirement. Tonight, she has the opportunity to continue her winning streak and become SmackDown Live Women's Champion if she can defeat Kyrie Sane. I know I've said it before, but I think tonight is the night Mickey's luck expires, especially without her partner Red to bail her out of any tough situations. Well, if tonight is truly the end of the line for Mickey, it has been one heck of a final run. Going all the way up. From the top. Elbow drop. Textbook vertical suplex. Bam. All measured up. Ah, oh, drop kick to the spine. Mickey James is starting to take control of this match. Momentum has clearly swung her way. Nice drop kick. The champ getting put to the test here. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Soul kick. And look at the quickness by Sagan.
Mickey James seizing the moment that time. Oh! Not what she was looking for. Oh! Back elbow. Spin kick! Watch out! Uh-oh. Neck breaker! She's got her. Bang! Got her! Neck breaker! Out of it in the corner. Here we go, start the count. Any more punches and Saxon's gonna have to take his shoes off the count. Vicious, aggressive attacks. And she's back in the ring now. That is a great reversal. Oh, a mick kick right on the money. I don't know if Sane can take much more of this. Well, she's as good as done. She's walking the plank, so to speak. Ha. She's tough. And it's Mickey James making a move. Oh, spiking DDT. Shoulders down to the count. Two, the unbelievable streak continues. Mickey James is now one half of the tag team champions and your new SmackDown Live women's champion. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this. Somehow, Mickey continues to defy the odds. It's like every time she's backed into a corner, she somehow finds a new way to escape. Congratulations, Mickey. You earned every bit of this. I feel like you've been a little off lately. You're moody, quick to lash out, overly judgmental about my decisions. It all sounds like typical me. Maybe those weren't the best examples, but I've known you long enough to realize when something's bothering you. Well, to be honest, I'm kind of getting impatient. I mean, teaming with Mickey has been fun, but I never thought it would last this long, and I definitely didn't see her singles title run happening. Now I'm basically waiting for someone to beat her so I can go after the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. I've been dying to cross that off. Some might say you're a bit too focused on the list. Who's some? Are you some? Look, if you want my advice, I see two ways for you to get what you want. But the first option wouldn't be very honorable. What do you mean? If you and Mickey were to somehow lose your tag titles, then Mickey would be forced to retire and vacate her women's title, leaving you free to pursue it. Option number two, the more straight up way of doing things, would be for you to tell Mickey exactly how you feel and challenge her to a match for the SmackDown Live Women's Championship, potentially crossing that off the list. But if you beat her, you'd also lose the tag titles and worse, end the career of your idol slash friend. I don't really love either option. This business forces you to make some tough decisions. But at least you're not choosing between competing in a tag title match or saving your mangled ear like Mick Foley once had to do. No, but if losing my ear was option three, I'd think I'd take it. The alternative is just waiting around for something to happen, and who knows how long that could take. You're right. I guess I should... Hey, Mickey. I need to talk to you about something. It's kind of personal, sorry. We'll catch up later. What's going on? Is everything okay? Yeah, well, not really. It's just lately... Ugh, I'll just come out and say it. I want your title. 
And I know what that means for you and for us, but I don't think I can sit back any longer. You know what? I was waiting for this moment. You were? Look, I, I know who you are, what you're made of, what got you here. You're driven to be the very best. And I knew that being tag team champions would only satisfy you for so long. So you don't hate me? No, I get it. I actually respect you for your honesty. I can think of a couple other ways this could have gone down. But if I beat you, it's all over. If it's going to come to an end, and it will sooner rather than later, I want you to be the one that does it. Besides, none of this would have even happened if it wasn't for you. But with all that said, I've come too far to just roll over. If you face me for my title, you better be ready for a fight. <laughs> You know me. I wouldn't want it any other way. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. the title will be on the line here. You're right, Michael, and judging from the response on social media heading into this match, we're likely to see a new champ crowned here tonight. this magnitude? I do, Michael. I really do. This is what all that hard work has been about. All those extra hours in the gym. I guarantee you, she is more than ready for this match. You know, when you think headline, a pay-per-view, who do you think of? This woman right here. Mickey James! A six-time champion. Think about everything this woman has accomplished in her career, and then talk about her all-time great rivalries with three Hall of Famers, Trish Stratus, Lita, and Beth Phoenix. Well, Mickey's got a list of great matches a mile long, but let's talk about her six women's championships. Mickey has an opportunity tonight to make a little bit more history. Introducing the challenger from Lexington, Kentucky, Tima! And introducing the champion from Richmond, Virginia, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Mickey Chan!
This is for the Women's Championship. Sold out here. Everyone standing in anticipation to see who truly is the best superstar in the women's division. Months ago, Red essentially resuscitated her idol Mickey James career. Tonight, after issuing her an open and honest challenge, she may now cause it to come to a sudden conclusion. If you ask me, Red's being extremely selfish. She's prioritizing the list and her individual goals ahead of her tag team championship and her supposed friend's career. Uh, you may feel that way, but from all accounts, Mickey James was completely fine with how Red approached her regarding this match. She even said if she was going to lose her title and her career, she'd want it to be to Red. Well, I, for one, will never understand that. Showing some quickness. And this match can change that fast. Watch out! Neck breaker! This one's about the women's championship, and nothing means more to these women than that title. She's got to remember to get back in the ring before the referee's 10 count. Amazing reflexes on display. Bringing it back into the ring. Whoa, just floating through the air. Neck breaker. Using the elbow as a weapon. to the kidneys. Golly. Oh, moonsault! Man, did you see the height on that? Dominating cross body. She's been on the offensive for a little while now. Her offense is on point right now. There. Broom kick! Look, Mickey James is on the attack now. Reverses. Can she take advantage? Nasty impact. Rolling elbow finds its mark. Ouch. To the kidneys. God. Mickey James appears to be on her last legs. I'm sorry. Red hits the mick kit. Is this the end for Mickey James? It's all over. Red is your new SmackDown Live Women's Champion. And as a result, Mickey James' historic career has come to an end. Red ended Mickey's career with her own move. What a true friend. I think it was actually a sign of respect to do it that way. Yeah, it was almost like a tribute. You know, it would have been a good tribute continuing to defend the tag championship and not ending your idol's career. You deserve this moment. A nice gesture from our new champion, Red, giving Mickey James a chance to say goodbye to the WWE Universe. And no matter how I feel about Red right now, I do want to say thank you to Mickey James. You will be missed. Thank you, Mickey.
And that's how I won my first SmackDown Live Women's Championship. That totally sucked the air out of the room. That's why I wanted to skip over that part of the story. I I'll distract him with the visual aid. With everything we'd accomplished, we were really starting to cement our legacies, especially in our hometown where we'd always been overshadowed by a certain individual until this happened. That is a beautiful sign, don't you think? I agree. I would never throw rocks at a sign like that. <laughs> Even though we were gaining respect and recognition, I still felt like I had a lot more to prove than Red. She had won championships everywhere we went, and I only had my universal title win over Samoa Joe that was mostly considered a fluke. Sure, I started a movie, but that sort of thing didn't hold the same weight. So I sought out the advice from someone who was a visionary in this business. A man who had been the guiding force behind the careers of countless legendary superstars. By the way, I saw your movie, and some of the choices you've made were, um, uh, intriguing. That really means a lot coming from you, Mr. Heyman. Just call me Paul, thank you. So, other than this fantastic, I have no choice but to eat at lunch. Why am I here? I asked you to meet with me because I need help from the guy who managed some of the biggest names in sports entertainment history. Kurt Angle, The Big Show, Steve Austin. Don't forget Brock Lesnar! B b before you go any further, let's just get one thing straight. I'm not going to advocate for you. I'm enjoying my retirement way too much. I don't want an advocate, I just want your advice. I've made progress with how people perceive me, but there's still some holdouts. So, how do I earn the respect of everyone in the locker room? How do I reach the heights the legends you guided reached and build a career that's Hall of Fame worthy? I really hate suggesting this, but in this business, there's only one surefire way to cement your legacy and become immortal. And that's by defeating the greatest force this universe has ever known. And yes, I'm talking about The Undertaker. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> yeah, come on, Paul. I'm, I'm serious. And so am I. Dead serious. Just look at what a victory over The Undertaker did for my client, Barack Lesnar. If you want that type of prestige, there is only one way to get it. But no one's seen The Undertaker in years. Oh, I'm sure The Undertaker is still out there somewhere. And if you want to, you can still find him. But I personally don't recommend it. Come on, you've had your success. The WWE Universe admires you, although there's no accounting for taste. Is the respect of the men and the women in that locker room really worth risking everything you have? Your well-being? Your soul? Just think about it carefully, because if I were you, and thank God I'm not, I'd forget the whole thing and just walk away before it's too late. I want to do it. I want to cement my legacy by defeating The Undertaker. Hey, it's your funeral, and if that's what you really want, I'll arrange a meeting with someone who might be able to help you find The Undertaker. Red, it's been a pleasure, and Trey, well, despite my better judgment, I wish you luck. It's kind of creepy here late at night. Did you know some arenas are supposedly haunted? Really? Yeah. This one time, after your match, all I heard was BOO! Assuming you didn't get that from a popsicle stick, I'm mildly impressed. Thanks. So where's Heyman's friend who's going to help you find The Undertaker? He's supposed to meet us here, right? Paul didn't give me any info other than a time and a place, so maybe his guy's running late. Did you hear that? It's kind of hard not to. No one else is in the building right now, so... Maybe it's Heyman's guy. We should go check it out. Uh, I don't know. Seriously? 
You want to take on The Undertaker, but you're afraid of an arena boiler room? Let's go. I can't really see much, can you? No, so we should probably try again some other time. I mean, technically the Undertaker's dead, so it's not like he's going anywhere. Wait. I think I just saw something move. Hello? Are you sure about this? Come on, it'll be fine. It's, it's not too late to turn back. Are you here to meet with us about finding the Undertaker? I swear, I saw someone down there. Did you see a light switch anywhere? No. I should have never gotten myself into this. Yeah, it was your idea. I can't believe mankind used to hang out down here. I'm gonna head back up and try to call Heyman. <laughs> Papa Shango? Well, this is unexpected, but I guess you'd need someone with supernatural powers to track down the dead man. Ask him to help. Um... Mr. Shango, apparently we have a mutual friend in Paul Heyman who said you could help me find The Undertaker? I don't think he's going to talk. Clearly. So, uh, how do we go about finding Taker? You want us to get inside the furnace? No, furnaces are hot. So maybe he's saying we're warm. Like, we're close to finding the Undertaker. This is exciting! Yeah, I'm out of here. Uh, wait! I think he's trying to tell us something. What was that? It's in my eyes. I don't know, but it kind of has a... lemony flavor? Not bad. You're eating it? Cool. Um, what the hell is that? I think it's some kind of portal. There's no way I'm going in a portal. If you want to become immortal, you have to go through the portal. See? It even rhymes. And besides, you're always telling me I need to loosen up and be more open-minded. So maybe you need to take your own advice for once. The last time I said that I was trying to get you to try pineapple on your pizza and not cross over into the netherworld. It looks like it's starting to close. Make a decision. Fine. Hey, wait! Papa Shango, no! Well, that's just great. Now we don't even have our voodoo mime guide. Are you smiling? I told you not to eat that dust. Hey! Snap out of it! What was that for? Ow! That was way harder than my slap. I was just trying to wake you up. I don't think we're asleep. Then what is this place? Did you hear that? From now on, let's just assume I hear everything you hear. Okay? Look. It's Kane! This is awesome! Maybe you can help my friend. He's trying to find your brother, and we lost our guide. Not cool! Look out!
Trey? Trey! It's all right, Trey. Yeah, you did good. You did good. Catch your breath. Are those fireworks? Weird. That's what you think is weird about all this? Maybe we're supposed to use these to signal for help. Who's going to help us here? No idea, but either way, we'll get to see some cool fireworks. Like the 4th of July. Yeah, except I just barbecued cane. I think it worked. Something's coming. How do we know it's a good something? Hey! Help! Wait, is that... Yes! Yes! I was sailing around the ocean of reincarnation when I was summoned by the works of fire in the sky. Can you help us? I set out to find the Undertaker, but I'd be happy now to just make it home alive. Step aboard, Skarsgård, and I will do my best to guide you on your wonderful journey. But for it to be truly over, you must delete the Demon of Death Valley that you speak of. Come on, this is our best and only option. You don't have any more of that Shango dust, do you? I wish. So are you taking us to the Undertaker? Before you do battle with the man who is dead, you must first encounter the Lady of the Marge. Yes, if you look past her, she will make you obsolete and you will never Return to your home dimension. Is there anything else you can tell us about her that would help? She is a creature of darkness, despair, and decay. We have already entered her plane of existence some time ago. How can you tell? It's so dark out here. That's how I can tell. This is as far as Skarsgård can take you, so I must bid you farewell. That's it? What kind of boat ride doesn't have snacks? Do you at least have anything that can help us see where we're going? Only the Lady of the Marsh's luminance will piss the darkness. There, in the distance, a flickering light. Our passage of time on the ocean of reincarnation was wonderful. I hope your vessels survive the treacherous conditions you now must face. Good evening, compeers. I should have listened to Paul Heyman and left this alone. I'd be at home on the couch right now watching true crime murder mysteries instead of becoming one. Don't say that. We can do this, whatever this is. That must be the Marsh Lady's cabin. Not great curb appeal. Should we call her out for a fight? Or we could quietly steal the lantern, run for our lives, and try to find a way out of here. I like that plan better. <clears throat> it won't move. It's like some invisible force is holding it there. <laughs> I think she's calling us to go in the cabin. You speak Marsh Lady all of a sudden? <laughs> See? I was right. Oh, turds. You want to play? Play with Nikki. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play. Ah, what the... Is this about me messing with the lantern? I just wanted to get a closer look. It's a, it's an antique, right? Our fun is just getting started. <laughs> Run. <laughs> He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands.